This here is a piccolo trombone. It is the smallest member of the trombone family. It is roughly one hand span long and uh, it speaks in the key of B flat, two full octaves higher than a tenor trombone. Some of the peculiar aspects of this trombone is that it does not have a water key. If it gets full of condensation or spit or whatever you happen to put down it, you have to just empty it like that. Secondly, there is no slide lock. The slide is uh, not recessed under the hand section at all. There are just these two little rubber rings which prevent that being any louder. There is no bracing on the bell section, there is no counterweight for <laughs> obvious reasons. So this instrument has two real limitations. The first is a limitation of me as the player, and the second is the limitation of the instrument itself. The limitation of me is that I, uh, my ears are particularly sensitive to shrill noises, and although with this trombone the sound is projected away from yourself, uh, the bell is still very close to your ears when you're playing and it becomes a little bit painful to play for any length of time. The second limitation is that the ratio of slide section to bell section is not correct. What that means is that on a normal trombone where you'd have seven positions throughout the slide, this trombone you've only got about sort of five and a half to six if you're generous. Uh, that means that there are some notes you just can't play. Um, the only way to get around that would be to make the bell section a little bit shorter and make the slide section a little bit longer. Um, but because of how small this instrument is, there isn't really much room to cut bits out of the bell section. Otherwise, you might have it pointing out at an incomplete angle um, and it would be even closer to your face. Um, so I'm not sure whether that limitation is something that exists across all piccolo trombones or just this particular brand. Uh, I say brand, it is a Chinese no-name sort of brand. A B-flat major scale. Another thing that makes it difficult is that I have large hands and there is no convenient way for this thing to be held. So that's about it. Lastly, this is just the case that one of these comes in. It's a tiny little case for a tiny little instrument. Thanks for watching.